Yes, I mean, on the most basic practical level, I was in Rotterdam for two days last week talking to real experts who really understand customs broking, freight forwarding. They said the customs arrangement, which is the base of checkers, is quite unworkable for five to ten years. So forget all the politics, forget what Trevor and I might think about this. It's just a practical non-starter. What is so sad is that your report touched on it. It all goes back to the Irish border. Tusk made a very generous offer to us back in March that we want a very wide-ranging free trade deal and was told... Can't do that because of the Irish border. The Irish border is soluble with existing techniques and existing processes. We've had that confirmed by people who handle 80% of the customs transactions in Europe. And it is tragic that we're missing this opportunity to go for a really wide-ranging deal, which I think many in Chukka's party and certainly many in well, the Conservative party would support. But, uh, David Lillington said it again this morning, if we went down a so-called Canada Plus uh, arrangement or... Uh, an even more remote uh, World Trade Organization arrangement, that would have an economic impact. It would mean higher prices. It would mean trade barriers, wouldn't it? Exactly the opposite. No. You, you look at what economists for free trade have said, they see a, a massive bonus for our most disadvantaged citizens in cheaper food, cheaper clothing. Well, every, every single citizen will be better off. Well, the food and drink organisations say automatic 60% well, tariffs on cheese. If we, if we were idiots to put up tariffs, but we sh what, what we wouldn't do, what we would have, reduce tariffs and reduce costs. No, but we have